In our previous videos, we talked about sprites, motion, and look blocks. Now we're going to talk about sounds. Sounds are actually really easy. If you click this button, you can see all the sounds. I already gave a tutorial on this, but to add a sound, you can simply choose sound. Hover over to preview. I like this, B bass, for example. So now we can go over here and we can grab one green flag clicked. So now what we can do is we can play the sound B bass until done. Otherwise, it will start the sound B bass. However, if another sound plays, right? Like if we choose a uh, another sound such as uh, we can start sound and then change this value to meow. As you can see, this B bass doesn't exactly work. We can also drag a place down until done meow and that will interrupt B bass. So what you can do is you can put a play sound until done so that another sound can't play until that. So now B bass has to wait until meow is done, which is useful. You also have stop all sounds. which stops all the sounds. And you can change effects, so you can change, uh, I don't know what these things do, but they give you some customization over how your stuff sounds, so I guess we could try that. So it changes the pitch. If we change this, I have no clue what that does. And now you can also do something like the set. So now you can set the pitch, right, to, uh, let's say, 80. That's pretty high. You can set this, whatever that does. I have no clue again. <laughs> and you can change the volume and set the volume. So that would make it louder, I imagine. So we can play sound now. I wonder what would happen if we changed it by let's say 90, not 900, 90, and click this. Now you can see it's way too quiet. And you can also set the volume. So now we can set it back to 100. We can also set it to uh, 150, which will make it extra loud. So brace your ears. So that's a little louder. So just like that, uh, not very complex. And you can click this to show the volume and you can pull this volume and that's how you'll get the volume value. Okay, in the next video, we're gonna start talking about event blocks. We've been using one this whole time, when green flag clicked, which basically executes code whenever you click the green flag. However, there's a lot more to talk about before we can start making cool code. So stay tuned, see ya.